you for tuning in to This Week in Poker. The inaugural Caesars Palace Classic came to an end this week and the champion is David Singer. Card Player was the exclusive media partner for the event. For videos from the tournament, check out the Tournament Trail channel right here on Card Player TV. Singer defeated a field of 287 players to claim the million dollar first place prize. Harris actually added over $100,000 to the prize pool so that the guaranteed million dollar first place prize would not skew the rest of the payouts. That means that Keto Fam earned almost half a million dollars for his second place finish and the third place finisher, Scott Fishman, won just under a quarter of a million dollars. The U.S. Poker Bowl at the Palms Casino also finished up this week. Team Cincinnati came out on top of the event and claimed the first place prize of $600,000. Two players from Team Cincinnati made it to the final table, but it was Vinny Napolitano who took it down for his team. He defeated Alan Kessler, a member of Team St. Louis, to claim the first ever U.S. Poker Bowl title. Of the 25 teams that began in the U.S. Poker Bowl, five were represented at the final table. Each team at the final table actually had two members present, with the exception of Team Hollywood. They had to rely solely on Brandon Adams, but unfortunately for him and his team, he finished in sixth place. The teams that finished in fifth through second place shared $100,000. The Asian Pacific Poker Tour has added a stop in China. The city of Macau will host the $2,500 buy-in Asia Poker Open on November 22nd. This will be the first ever real money to no limit hold'em tournament to take place in China. To guarantee yourself a seat, you can register in advance on PokerStars. The online poker giant is also hosting a plethora of satellites which start at just $22. In addition to the $2,500 buy-in tournament, there is also a high rollers event scheduled to take place at the same time. That tournament has a buy-in of $15,000 U.S. dollars. It is set to occur over two days. Both tournaments take place at the Grand Waldo Hotel and Casino. In European poker news, the CEO of Unibet, a Swedish-listed gaming company, was recently arrested in Holland on a French warrant. Peter Nylander was detained at an airport earlier this week while trying to board a flight home to the United Kingdom. The warrant was based on the French Lottery Authority's claims that Unibet broke French laws protecting their monopoly on lotteries and horse racing. The European Union has challenged the legality of that monopoly. European Commission spokesman Oliver Drews said that it is likely that Nylander is innocent. A few American poker players will soon be en route to Europe for the Great British Poker Tour's Grand Final. The event begins on November 5th in Bristol, England and concludes on the 11th. Phil Locke, Jennifer Tilly, Antonio Sfendiari, Robert Williams III, and Jamie Gold have all confirmed their participation in the 2500 Euro buy-in tournament. The winner of the event will get the lion's share of the estimated 500,000 Euro prize pool and a seat in the Bellagio 5 Diamond World Poker Classic. Back here in the United States, the Commerce Casino's Holiday Bonus Tournament Series starts next week. There are 15 preliminary events leading up to the $2,500 buy-in championship tournament. The Holiday Bonus Tournament Series is an annual event for the Commerce Casino. They have been running it for 15 years now. If you want a chance to play but don't want to pay the buy-ins, satellites begin on Monday the 29th. On the other side of the country, the City Planning Board in Milford, New Hampshire recently approved a plan for a new poker room. New Hampshire Charitable Gaming, a company that already operates another poker room in the area, plans to use a space that has been empty for nearly 20 years. Poker rooms in the state of New Hampshire are legal as long as there are at least 35% of the profit is donated to charity. And that sums up This Week in Poker. I'm Lizzie Harrison. And I'm Chris Arnett for Card Player TV.